Hi, my name is Mini Seti. Today we are going to learn about balance growth theory. Balance growth theory can be explained with the views of Rosenstein, Rodin, Lewis, and Ragnar Nagse. But in today's video, we are going to learn about balance growth theory of Ragnar Nagse. In next video, we will study about Rosenstein, Rodin, and Lewis theory. Okay, and what does mean by balance growth? Balance growth means that all sector of economy should grow simultaneously. okay all sector of economy should grow together okay so we should invest in all sector at same time this is concept of balance growth but according to nagse under developed country cannot grow why under developed country cannot grow because of vicious cycle of poverty okay what does mean by vicious cycle of poverty vicious cycle of poverty operate at two level one is demand side other is supply side demand side means in under developed country have a low income because of low income there is low demand okay low demand leads to small extent in market what's need to extend market if there is already low demand okay and small extent in market lead to low induced to investment okay low induced to investment lead to low level of capital low level of capital result low productivity organization is not able to utilize maximum maximum skill of labor as a result it lead to low income and this cycle which continuously run okay on the other hand vicious cycle of supply side means low income lead to low saving low saving lead to low investment low investment lead to low capital formation and low capital formation is result of low productivity it's lead to low income it's it will continuously run okay according to nagse if under developed country want to grow they need to break this vicious cycle of poverty in both side demand side as well as supply side but question is that how can under developed country break this vicious cycle of poverty which according to nagse vicious cycle of poverty can be break by simultaneously investment in larger number of industry means under developed country should invest in all sector at same same time uh, for example there is three sector are operating agriculture sector industry sector and service sector under developed country should invest in all sector at same time so all sector grow at balanced okay uh, but how can it possible okay there is require government intervention because in under developed country it may be possible uh, most of the industry are going unprofitable and private sector want their profit okay in uh, in unprofitable industry private sector are not supposed to invest in this case uh, balanced growth development government should take in in own hand okay on the other hand their all things should be in synchronized manner okay because we are talking about investment in all sector that's why required huge investment there should be investment in physical capital as well as human capital also okay then it's lead to balance increase in production and balance increase in production will increase size of market and slowly slowly vicious cycle of poverty will break how how vicious cycle of poverty will break with the help of investment because aggregate demand is increasing Produ people are producing more it can be cause of exaggerating aggregate demand and increase in aggregate demand lead to increase in investment because more and more people getting employment because of investment it will lead to increase in income and increase in income will lead to increase in productivity because now organization is able organization is able to utilize maximum skills of their labor because there is huge investment there is huge production and slowly slowly the poverty cycle turn into balance growth this is balance growth concept by ragnar nagse i think you understood thank you